Yellowheader steam train passes through the Ormond station on its way to Daytona Beach. A freight train passes through the Daytona station on its way north. In 1932, the trains kept coming to this beautiful paradise. Firestone store and the post office was there at the time. The Yacht Basin and Yacht Club. And there's the Sears store on Beach Street and the Club Shadow Lido, which is now the Moose Club. And I think this is their mascot. Over the free bridge, directly to Broadway and the beach. And here is Atlantic Avenue. And here is Sea Breeze. And up ahead, you go under the hotel and out onto the beach. Nary a motel or high rise. And this is the clock tower and the band shell. All of this was built by WPA Labor around 1932. This is the pier on the beach. The great bands like Tommy Dorsey, Glenn Miller, and Artie Shaw, all the big bands played here. And it was a great fishing pier. This is back downtown on Beach Street and the Halifax River. that took you up the river for a tour. Port Orange, there's the oranges. And here's the Port Orange Railroad Station. There's the mailbag and here comes the train to pick it up. They throw out the mail and snag the new bag. The old mailman picks up the bag and heads for the post office. This is the Port Orange School and the little church on US 1. And there's the Pines Restaurant and the Port Orange Grill, the night spots of that day. This is City Hall in that day and downtown Port Orange. The kids would go down to the end of Herbert Street and swim in the river. There was no bridge that day. And there on the side was Gardner's Boatyard, which was later the Showboat Restaurant. And here is the Armand Bridge and the Armand Hotel. And we would cross over to the beach, where there was a plane right off the beach. For about $5, you could take a long ride. 